Hello, I'm John. I'm looking after Corrick, and this is the story of the rebuild of a Contessa 32. We're just over the halfway point, and this episode will address some of the, um, the changes to the design, especially in the nav area that I alluded to last week. Um, I haven't managed to make it down to the boat this week, but I've been kept well up to date in conversations with James. Uh, over the Christmas break, I'm going to get down there a fair bit, I hope, and so I'll be able to give you a bit more news from the waterfront. One of the things I said in um, one of the earlier episodes that dealt with the nav gear was that it was one of the things that was likely to change the most rapidly and that's that's really proved to be true as we've made a couple of um, a couple of significant changes. One of the original design decisions was to have a tiller pilot and we were going to go for an ST2000 which is in use by um, a few people but the more we looked into it the more we spoke to people the more we realized that that was really not quite uh, enough of um, it wasn't as well specified as we would have liked for this particular job it was it was definitely a little bit underweight so we have gone for an EV100 now that has an impact because instead of having the controls on the unit itself, the EV100 has a separate control head and that needs to go into the instrument panel and we're a little bit short of real estate there so we've made a change. So we're going to put the control head in on the starboard side where we were previously going to have some AIS um, display there. What we're going to do is basically double up the I-70 on the port side to do that. So we're going to we're going to head down the route of putting a Axiom 7 down at the chart table instead of an i70. Uh, we'll still have the iPad and the iPhone as needed, but the multifunction display should be a bit more usable, have the power supply, deal with wet fingers um, in a way that some of these other instruments don't. The other thing that's going on is I alluded to the main sheet arrangement and I've had a couple of questions privately on that. Um, the one that we're actually going to fit is known as a 3 to 1, 6 to 1. The reason that I like this, and I've used it before, is that it is very simple, it involves less rope, it's really obvious what happens. Um, with some systems, with tweakers, um, inexperienced users aren't sure which rope to go for and in the moment of when it's busy that can be not a great thing but with this if you want a course control of the main sheet position you grab both ropes and pull or let the ease out uh, and if you need fine control uh, then you just manipulate one of the ropes it's it's fairly straightforward it doesn't have the extra tweaker and uh, crucially um, with this design what I want to do is have the block right at the very tail end of the boom so it's well clear of head height um, and uh, I don't want anything swinging in the middle. Earlier in the week the mast arrived so that's currently sitting in the riggers shed. Uh, it's all strung up, it's still in its plastic wrapper. We won't move this to um, near where Corrick is till after Corrick has come out of her shed and we can step it. It'll probably be sometime in early February I think but it's good to have it in place. So as we know on this boat the boat's mast is stepped through the coach roof. Uh, in order to get the angle right we've had to make a little plinth for uh, the ring to go on so that's done. Uh, another big design thing we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks is the gas locker and we've made a gas locker that will fit into the cockpit in such a way that it can be accessed from the side without changing the seating arrangements. Of course no week would be complete without a little bit of varnishing so these are the nav station doors and they're largely now complete. So as expected we've had to make a few changes. Um, I'm really comfortable with that. We're getting to the point where we're getting to the um, point of purchasing um, and ideally there won't be too many changes beyond that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.